Hello, this is Aloisa with Math Leopard. Welcome to the Music of the Spheres. Today we're going to unlock the mysteries of both the Sun and the Moon. Before we begin, recall that frequency is defined as cycles per second, the units of which are hertz. Consider our Sun. At first it may seem as though there is no cyclic movement to the Sun, save for its rotation about the center of the galaxy every 230 million years or so. But in fact, it rotates about its axis every 24.47 days. Hence, its frequency is calculated as one cycle for every 24.47 days. Since the units of hertz are expressed in cycles per second, let's convert days into seconds by using a conversion factor of one day per 24 hours, then from hours into minutes with the fraction one hour per 60 minutes, and finally converting from minutes into seconds, we multiply by one minute per 60 seconds. Noting that the units of days, hours, and minutes reduce, we're left with the frequency of one cycle every 2,114,208 seconds, or 4.72 times 10 to the negative seventh hertz. To bring this into the audible range, we have to raise the frequency through 29 octaves, hence we multiply through by 2 to the 29th power. What results is a frequency of 253.9347652 hertz, or approximately B. Oder auf Deutsch wäre es eine H sein. Continuing on, let's now consider the music of our closest neighbor, the moon. It is clear that the most important lunar days are the full and new moons. Each of these deserves its own consideration, as their properties differ from the nourishing nature of the full moon to the gently dispersive quality of the new moon. Let's first consider the position of the full moon in relation to a fixed star in the heavens. We note that as the Earth progresses in its solar circuit, the point at which the full moon is once again in conjunction with that same fixed star will be slightly less than one full revolution about the Earth. This is known as the sidereal rotation period for the moon and lasts 27.3 days. Converting this into seconds, we once again change from days into hours, hours into minutes, and then minutes into seconds. Reducing the units of days, hours, and minutes leaves us with a sidereal frequency for the moon of one cycle per 2,358,720 seconds or 4.23 times 10 to the negative 7 hertz. As with the sun, we raise this frequency 29 octaves by multiplying through by 2 to the 29th power. This yields an audible frequency of 227.6111247 hertz, approximately an A sharp. Before we move on, it's interesting to note that there are 13 lunar months in each year. So we move one thirteenth of the way through the zodiac every 28 days. We note that the sidereal cycle of the moon was really between two conjunctions with a fixed star. But now, let's consider the cycle between two genuine new moons. A new moon occurs when the sun and the moon are in conjunction, that is, aligned on the same side of the earth, and hence is termed the synodic month. The time between new moons is slightly longer than that for one revolution of the moon about our Earth at 29.53 days. Hence, the frequency for the synodic month when we convert to hours, minutes, and then seconds and reduce the units of days, hours, and minutes leaves us with one cycle per 2,551,443 seconds or 3.91 times 10 to the negative 7th Hertz. As this is the same power of 10 seen in both the frequency for the sun and the sidereal period of the moon, we know it must be raised 29 octaves to achieve an audible frequency. We multiply through by 2 to the 29th power, we arrive at a frequency of 210.4185404 hertz, or approximately a G sharp. Now let's integrate these sounds into their healing roles. As may be expected, the sun has an extremely warming effect when used in conjunction with the ohm tone for the earth. 
the most physically warming of these is the low omen sound frequencies. The next octave up creates an initiatory tone on the brink of one's own illumination. One octave higher in the energy field is the tone for divine initiation. The ohm full moon interval is deeply moist and nourishing, initiating growth and fertility. The high ohm sidereal interval acts on our emotional body to bring a sense of fulfillment and completion. The Ohm New Moon Interval is gently dispersive and nurturing. And finally, the High Ohm Synodic Interval is emotionally liberating. Thank you for watching. I'll release the music of the inner planets Mercury, Venus, and Mars soon. Please subscribe to be updated when they're posted. See you next time.